Let me go ahead and look at some of this stuff too, guys. Looking for a few things here. All right, Dana Lanny's picked up a few things, dropped off some product. Now let's keep moving. Since I'm down here in Mission Bay, I gotta try to catch a bay bass. So let's go ahead and take a few casts and see if we can get one. Ten casts, no bites. We're gonna go ahead and keep moving. We've got a busy day, so let's go. All right, back from Dana Landings, and what I need to do is upgrade all of these hooks and split rings. As you can see here, this is a stock hook and split ring, and that's not a hundred percent big fish worthy. So I want to go ahead and upgrade these split rings so that I don't have a hook failure like I did right here. have here is a mixture of two different style of lures this is the shimano colt sniper jerk i have the 170s and i also have the 140 and then i also have some daiwa sp minnows this is the six and a half inch and this is a custom painted six inch and these are great running jerk baits for inshore calico bass bonita barracuda yellowtail etc we're going to upgrade them with owner Stinger treble hooks ST66 TN size 10 size 20 and we're also going to be upgrading these with owner split rings we're going to use the ultra split ring the number 7 is rated for a strength of 215 minimum 365 max number 6 is 150 to 250 so you got to you have to imagine that you're pulling on a fish are you pulling a hundred pounds worth between you the rod the boat the line the fish running your drag on how much resistance and strength is that whole entire fight and you don't want any of this gear to fail because eventually something will fail you know if you button down your drag horsing the fish in something in the equation will fail your line will break your split rings will straighten out your hooks will straighten out your lure will break, something will break. What you wanna do is avoid all that and upgrade everything as best as possible so you have zero failures. This is the 170 Shimano Colt Sniper. This is the six and a half inch Daiwa SP Minnow. This bait right here has caught a ton of calico already and some larger size yellowtail, some 20 pound class, but with these hooks. So the stock hooks are decent and split rings are decent on this, but we're gonna go ahead and upgrade those anyways. You know the bait gets rash on the side from the hooks once it gets used but this this bait has caught a, a number of fish already so it's a it's a proven bait we just want to go ahead and secure all those split rings up i'm probably going to remove all of the split rings off the noses of the baits and i'll just run a clip on this stuff all the stock split rings off this stuff I have used this bait also. It's called Calico. All right. Did 
there they go our three baits these are the smaller of the models like the six inch but you can see the hook hangers super tight on the Daiwa SP Minnows where on the Colt Snipers they're big so your the hook is able to swing around more freely with the bigger eyelets all right for the smaller baits the six inch baits we're gonna use the number six split ring yeah that's a nice split ring right there I mean it's meant for 125 pound max breaking string yeah they're stiff Got a feeling this is going to be very difficult. There we go. Just got to be careful here. Boom. All right. Getting them on, guys. Getting them on. What I need here is a, a different set of split ring pliers, something way more gnarly. So here you go. All right, there it is right there. Upgraded Colt Sniper 140. That thing is ready for business now. Okay, let's get the rest of these wrapped up. Nice sardine pattern here. Good looking sardine pattern. Six and a half, seven inch baits. I'm gonna start by putting those number seven split rings on. These split rings are way more intense than the other ones. There you go. There you go, that's something. The ST66TN4X20 on the bigger style baits. Split rings are intense, guys. There we go. Good looking sardine pattern right there. All right guys, here's the lineup. Hopefully this stuff is tuna proof, big yellowtail proof, big calico bass proof. So everything's looking good here. And these are kicker quick clips and they're rated for 125 pound breaking strength. But I also have a few of these. These are 175. You have to imagine that the split rings and the hooks are 200 pound breaking strength. And we're gonna add a clip that is, you know, give or take 150 to 175. So what I say is, Use the heaviest clip that you can get away with, meaning the heaviest clip that fits on your lure. It doesn't matter how big it is. Like this clip looks kind of big, but the fish aren't keying in on the clip. They're keying in on the flash and the movement of the bait. So the clip size in some instances does not matter. And the reason why I'm leaving the split ring off, it's gonna be a lot easier to thread this clip onto the bait as fast as possible because we might be in a bite and I need to get this stuff done. So. Let me show you how it works there. Boom, we're clipped up. So say that, you know, something went wrong with this bait or perhaps I want to use a bigger size. Take it off the clip, get onto the bigger model, get onto the bigger model right there. So the quick clip is good. It also makes the bait run free, you know, a lot freer. So it actually is like a split ring. So that's upgrading these baits. We're gonna use the quick clips. We're gonna use the owner treble hooks. We're gonna use the owner split rings. We got all those hooks and split rings changed out. Let's go ahead and do a few more things. I got a new reel and I need to put some line on it. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Here it is right here, the Abu Garcia Revo Beast 40. So this is a, like a 300 size reel. We're gonna add some Berkeley braided line, some 65 pound class. And then we are gonna install this knob. 
So let's get to that right now. Let's go ahead and get this cracked open. An Abu Garcia Revo Beast 40. Now this is a great reel that I use for calico bass fishing. It fits in the palm nicely. I can fish this all day. It's an extremely strong reel and a brand new reel, thankfully. But what I want to do is, it comes with this extra power handle, but I don't really want this knob on this handle. So I like to fish my reels with power handle. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this knob on this handle on this reel. I cannot put this handle directly onto that reel because of this opening. This opening is built for the Revo Beast 50 and 60. As you can see, the opening is different. We're gonna go ahead and switch the handle knobs out. remove this lock and this nut to get this handle off. Start off with the Phillips for the lock. All right. I'm able to remove that, that little lock there. That just stops the nut from spinning. Go ahead and take a crescent wrench. Easily and just crack it open easily. Remember, you don't want to strip anything. And so when you remove this handle, there's going to be a little washer. See that washer? You want to keep that washer with the reel. Don't let it go with the handle. All right. Put the new handle on. Go ahead and spin that nut on nice and easy. I'm going to give it a quick tighten. This lock needs to line up with that hole. So you can see right here, you know, it's almost lined up. But I do want to tighten this handle up quite a bit. I'll move the lock off of the screw. Now I'm going to tighten it up, see if I can line them up without damaging or stripping it. I mean, I. Uh, yeah, I can get there. I can get there. So it's just one little, one little quarter of a turn. One more. One more. One more. There it is. So now, now I know my handle's on tight. Can okay, I give it just a little tighten here? All right. There it is. Abu Revo Beast Forty with a power handle. That's how I prefer to hold my real when I calico bass fish or inshore fish. I just hold this knob right here, power knob. So now that we got that finished, let's go ahead and add the line. We're gonna use a Berkeley Prospec 65 pound ultra round eight carrier braid. One thing when you spool braid onto a fishing reel, you need to add some sort of tape or grit to the spool so that the braid cinches down into it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some electrical tape right to the base of that spool before I tie on the knot. Since I'm by myself, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this vise. I'm gonna get it in the vise and I'm gonna snug it down real tight. Real tight. Because what you want is you want that braid, see that? You want that braid to go on your reel super tight and compact. So get that light on line on the reel tight. I do use a glove and I even pinch the line up front. Tighten up that drag. Get that line on there.
fill this reel up with 65 pound braided line. It's not all the way to the top, though I wish it was a little bit more full, but that's okay. We're gonna use this for top water, so it'll be kind of short cast. All right, we got this box from Skosh. I'm gonna give it an open. This beautiful SOG Presidential. Boom. <laughs> All right, guys, here's some really awesome stuff. Some things I use every day. Skosh GoBat 12,000 Rugged Portable Backup Battery. This is what I use all day long to film my fishing videos with on the GoPro. Rugged, waterproof, durable. Two USB ports as well. This one is a GoBat 6,000, so a slightly smaller model, half the size, half the size of this one. So this one is gonna be on my personal running my chest cam. Here's a GoPro mounting system. I'm gonna use this mount on the fishing ponga. It's a power sports mount, it mounts to a rail system. So I also can use this on the GoPro as well. Some extra cables. So to charge my iPhone and to plug it into the GoPro. Skosh, you guys should check these guys out if you need anything for electronics. You can see I have cables, I have mounts. And most importantly, I have these batteries. Thanks for watching the video. I kind of just had some small tasks I needed to accomplish and I wanted to share that with you guys. Kind of some fishing prep. Shout out to all you guys who support the channel. Hey, that number is growing and it's because of you guys. We're at 7,000 subscribers on YouTube and I can see those likes and comments go up every day. If you guys want to stay up to date with us, find us on Instagram. We're a little bit more active over there because it is easier. You post a photo, you write a caption and you get your message out there. You know, you guys know YouTube, you have to create and edit a video, it's content, and it's big stuff, man. I mean, it's, it's not easy to make a video. Enjoy doing it, and I appreciate you guys watching. All right, guys, thanks again for all the support. If you have any questions on this gear, this stuff I put together, all these weird things I've been doing today, drop them in the comments section. I will get to them. I always answer those questions. It's always good talking to you guys. Hopefully something in this video inspires you to go fishing. So get out there, go fish, hook that giant! Dude, that's what's up. <laughs> yeah. California yeah. Yellowtail in Point Loma. Alright. Good job, man. We got one. <laughs>